Howdy folks, uh, Troy with V-Twins the V8s. Going to come on and do a small video with you on the operation of the headlight doors for a 6667 Charger. Also it's shared by the Coronet model as well. Uh, I'm restoring this 67 Charger for quite some time. If you followed any of my blog posts or my uh, YouTube videos, you, you probably are familiar with it. If not, Welcome aboard, and uh, anywho, I got this car in a million pieces, and I've re been restoring it for a client, and um, it's been a learning process. There's a lot of unique things in this particular car. One of them is the rotating headlights, and um, I, as I put the car together and started to rebuild this system, I uh, really trial and error in a lot of ways looking at um, wiring diagrams and following along and educating myself as to how this particular system works and what I did notice was there wasn't really a lot of information out there as far as um, how the system works so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of walk you through the very basics of the system and how it works so that if you have one of these cars and you and you and you have a problem and you don't understand it hopefully this will be of help to you so you can kind of excuse the uh, condition of my interior here I'm still in the process of doing a lot of wiring so what you have is a circuit breaker that's down in this kick panel behind the emergency brake area so you have 12 volts coming in and then you have the 12 volts that come out and go over to the passenger side where the relays are. I'll go over and I'll show you those. So what we have here is we have three relays. We have one relay that's the master relay for the power from the system. So in other words, power comes from over at our breaker that I just showed you. It comes to this relay and then it feeds the other two relays. One relay opens the headlights the other relay closes the headlights. Now I'll show you what goes on outside at the motors themselves. Okay, so here we are at the motor itself. And what we have is we have this wiring harness that connects to the motor. And uh, I'm trying to do as best I can because I did kind of button this up, but I will work with you and see what I can do. Okay, so you've got an electric motor and basically electric motor has a ground and it has a circuit that you put current to that rotates the electric motor one way and then you put current to the opposite side it rotates the, the other way on this particular system the purple is the circuit that rotates the doors open and then you'll see a red with a white stripe that's the circuit that rotates the doors to close the next thing that happens is there's a, a limit switch on the top and there's a limit switch on the bottom and basically the way that this system works is you turn the headlights on current flows through this purple wire to our motor to rotate it in the opening direction the ground is in place the motor operates all the way up when it gets when this little plunger right here gets to the top and it clicks this limit switch what it does is it takes the ground away and the motor stops so now your headlights are open they're on everybody's happy you're going down the road you pull over you stop you get you go to get out of the car you shut your headlights off when you shut your headlights off current travels to the red wire now the red wire is what closes it now this door is in the opposite position the door rotates down and when it gets to the bottom it clicks this opposite switch which which opens and removes the ground and then your headlights are off your motors are off and nothing's happening so let's talk about how the relays work on the passenger side of the car so I'm gonna show you inside the car so let me bring the camera over. so what we have here is we have our switch pulled to the on position current is is flowing through our breaker and it's going over to our relays our headlights are in the open position So now we're over here at our relays. 
This is our control relay where our power is either added or taken away from our circuit. So what happens when we turn on the headlight switch, this wire, this white wire is signaled live, which takes our um, relay and sends power to our opening relay. So this is our opening relay here, and if you'll notice, Sorry, I'm on the wrong one. Sends power to our opening relay, which is over here, and boom, voila. It sends power to our motors going in this direction. Now, when I shut that switch off, what's gonna happen is this power is gonna go away, our relay is gonna close, it's gonna send power to our other switch and cause our headlights to close. Let me do that. Okay, so our headlights are closed. We're back over here at our relays. You'll notice I have no power signaling my relay, no power going to my opening relay. Um, but I do have power on this little white wire that goes to my closing relay. So just to recap, power is fed to these relays all the time. And then the signal wire either delivers power or takes away power. So headlights come on, this is the signal from the headlight switch, boom, it clicks this, it sends power to the opening relay, the headlights open. Then when you close the headlight switch, power is no longer transmitted to this relay, power goes away from your opening and it goes to your closing. Okay, so we got that part of it down now. Okay, so now we're back out here. The headlamps are closed. Our headlight switch is off. Our headlights are off. This, this bucket is down in the closed position. It's depressing the bottom limit switch. So, if we go back and do a recap, the sequence of operation is the headlight switch is turned on juice travels into this purple making the headlight door rotate until it gets to the top when this when it touches this switch and it takes the ground away now your headlights are on the buckets remain open you shut your switch off it reverses this it sends takes power away from your purple sends power to your red your door rotates closed it hits this limit switch right here, takes the ground away. Now nothing's going on. You don't have any headlights because your headlight switch is off. You don't, your doors are closed because your headlight switch is in the closed position. And, and that's it, you're done. So now it's a fully operational system and hopefully that explains how it works. So hopefully this, this small video has explained basically how this system works. It really is not really that complicated once you understand it. It's the it's kind of getting your head around how this all of this happens. Basically it's a series of doors or switches opening and closing. So um, if you have any questions feel free to, to, to message me on Facebook, vtwins to v8s.com on Facebook on my um, my website, vtwins to v8s.com, or um, you know, through this through this video on YouTube, my name is Troy, my last name is Kane. You'll notice that I have a channel. Please subscribe. That that's what supports me and keeps me doing these videos is having people have an interest in it. So I'm hoping that I helped out some of you guys that are doing the working on this type of a car and uh, don't really have a full understanding of it which I have to admit I did not until I got involved in it and really educated myself towards it but thanks for tuning in and have a great day